good uh, confidence booster there for Capo to come on and uh, continue his uh, his success here, getting the first. Made man a good he pitch faced. on three and one. Got the weak ground ball to Summerlin. Now he's one pitch away from getting this team out of the out of this little jam here. As you want to keep this a one run ball game, especially the way that Dunham's throwing for the Colonels. Capo working for the stretch. Checks on the runner over at third. Pitch hit hard. But snared by Ernest. Good play by Chris. He goes over to Sparacino. Five to three. Goes the ground out to retire the side. In the inning, no runs on one hit. There were no errors. And one left on. Capo gets the final two outs of the inning. It is stretch time here from Alumni Field Colonels on top. Four to three. We'll be right back. You are watching Southeastern Lions baseball. Mark this one down, Chris, is a big play in this ball game. An outstanding diving effort there by Chris Ernest. Keeps this a one-run ball game. As Dunham's pitching so well here tonight, you got to keep this, this lead only at one, and hopefully you can scratch a run in these final three frames. This one is hit well to center field, and goodbye baseball. Chris Ernest goes yard for the Lions to get it started. His first homer of the year. And Allen, how many times do you see a guy make a critical defensive play in one half of the inning, comes up the next half of the inning at the plate, and does it with the bat as well? Well, I'll tell you what, he just hit that ball about 430 feet. That cleared the flags beyond the center field wall. That was straight away. And your center fielder out there, Mosley. Mosley didn't even move. He just kind of turned around and watched that one go over his head as that ball was absolutely crushed. And that was the first home run of the year for Ernest. And we are all tied up now at four. Over has hit safely in three consecutive games. Well, we're going to take a look at a little bit different lineup for LSU tonight, first time in a while. Hanover hits the first pitch sharply, but Ernest grabs it, and Hanover is retired. A lot of first pitch swinging going on tonight. I think the batters know these pitchers are wanting to establish those strikes early, and they're going to be looking for the first fastball. Hanover hit it really hard down there to third base to Ernest. Ernest is right there in front of it. Your question presented by Gulf Coast Office Products. Ben McDonald was National Player of the Year in 1989. Can you name the other two LSU players who have received that honor? That's a head scratcher. Ben, I think uh, you're probably on top of that one, though. Ernest singles off Hanover's glove as Tyler went to his left, extended, and uh, the ball caromed off the leather into left field for a base hit. When he gets it hot, I mean, he can almost take any pitch and hit it hard. Rugg got one in on the hands. And uh, Ernest collects the foul ball for the second out. Uh, that double error by the shortstop Boudreaux is last at bat. Nobody on base, two outs for, the, for LSU in the fifth. Breaking ball again, down the zone. It'll be a tough play. Chico is having to run hard again. Ernest gets him at first base. Boy, that's a danger right there. When you know you see him been over right there. You tweak that hamstring. You want to beat it out for a base hit and get that base hit. You hate to see him do that. Rug gets a 1-2-3 inning. 6-5 LSU after five. Three double play this year. As the shortstop immediately opens. A 4-6-3 double play. Right. Still not the 6-4-3 that we've been talking about, which is just really hard to believe this many games into the season, but 4-6-3. Two outs. Chris Ernest comes to the plate for the third time. He's one for two. Ernest has walked out, or I beg your pardon, struck out and singled in the fourth and then was hit by a ground ball on his way to second base after he had reached with that base hit. Southeastern has been a very resilient team this year, Ben. The Lions' first 12 victories. All were come from behind victories. And 15 of Southeastern's 23 wins have been come from behind wins. Well, you can tell me. 
LSU pulled ahead. L Southeastern got the, the lead. LSU pulls ahead. They come right back. I mean, they are still swinging the bats hard. That double play may have saved a run as Ernest singles here in the sixth. And that is hit number 10. Chris Ernest comes in and almost decapitates that pitcher to win the ball game. Great job by Chris. Tough pitch, good slider, but Ernie doing a good job of driving it right back through the middle to win the ball game. Fantastic sight right there. I probably felt like the game was over. At All American, Michael Choice up. We intentionally walking with a runner second, first base open. Great pickoff right here by catcher Chris Franklin and Chad Golf Fortenberry making a great throw, but that was a super tag right there by Chris Ernest as well.